Hello Lobos and Canvas learners, I'm here in my test course uh, to show you how to import content. And that is my dog crying because she can hear children playing outside the window. I apologize for that. Okay, so here we are in the home page of the course and I want to import some content that I created. So I'm going to go down to settings and I'm going to select import course content. Now, you would use this more than likely if you were a current Canvas user. So if you use Canvas in 2018, 2019, and you have all of your content that you used and you would like to move that over to your 2020 courses, you would use this import content feature. This would also apply if you've been working over the summer in your sandbox and you've made content that you're actually going to use with your students at the beginning of the year. You want to copy that content. So from this drop down, you're going to select copy a Canvas course. That's that first option. And then yours may look a little different here. You may have all of your courses actually already listed here, or you may have to search for it by name. Um, I know that mine makes me search for it by name because it's searching a very large library. Yours may show all the ones that you're enrolled in as a teacher. But either way, you'll need to know the name of the course that you want to copy. So I'm looking for one called 6th grade BP. There it is. And I do, you, here's what I think is really cool is that you can say I want all of it. I want the entire course blanket. Just come on over. Or you can say I only want certain pieces. So we did all this work last year, but I know we moved some teaks around. So I only really want modules and units uh, three, four, five, and six. I don't need one and seven or whatever. So you can choose to use move all of the content and copy it over, or you can select specific content and that'll let you just pick and choose what you'd like to copy over. You can also adjust events and due dates. So this is nice if you are copying content over, what I like to do is just remove them, remove the dates altogether, and then I can just add dates in, but you can also say shift the dates. Um, and so if you know what the beginning date is, you can change it here, but you kind of have to know that. So I usually just say remove dates. If you don't do anything and you just kind of leave that alone, it's going to adjust the due dates. It's going to bring them over with their current due dates is what I should say. So generally I just say remove the dates. All right. And so then if you say all content, it's going to just import everything. As soon as you hit import, it's going to start running. If you say select specific content, it's going to then ask you to pick. So you see how right here it says waiting for selection. It's waiting for me to pick what I want because I said select content. So in this case, I want just this home page. That's all I want. And I'm going to say select content. And then you can see that it's running. And then this, when this bar fills up, that's how I know it's full. It's completed, no issues. And so now when I go to pages, because that's what I chose to import, I go to pages, sorry, I didn't click it. Uh, I now have this home page that I didn't previously have before. If you remember, previously my home page it was this modules page. Now I have this home page that I imported that I can actually make my pages, my home page of my course. Um, and that was one that I just imported in from another course. And again, that can be done with all of your content. You can actually import an entire course and copy it over to a new one. So if you like your modules, if you like your assessments, if you like your assignments, you can move everything that you did over and they'll make fresh copies for your 2020-2021 course. If you have any questions about copying a course, please reach out to any member of Digital Learning. We'd be happy to help answer your questions.